Well, with Bill Paxson Pinball almost done, I've been experimenting with some new pinball ideas. One thing I thought was LCD screen for the uh, scoreboard. So what I've done was taken this uh, propeller and uh, got the SD cards hooked up to it. And then it's just running a composite video signal into the uh, monitor. This thing has a lot of inputs. It's pretty cool, so you can do picture in picture. It's useful for playing on the Atari as well. Anyway. Uh, what I've done was I've taken a whole bunch of uh, still frame bitmaps of an image sequence of Shakira and put them onto one of the SD cards. And the really hard part, it's not hard to load bitmaps, Windows style bitmaps into the propeller, but they're, um, the bytes are arranged completely different from how the uh, propeller's screen memory works with its TV object. So you can load them in and try to sequence them, but when you shift the bits and rotate it and all that, and you know change the color depth, it slows it down a lot. So what the trick is to load that in, but then as it loads in, you um, convert it and save it to a new file. So that's what this program does. It loads and converts each frame off of the first SD card and writes it into a single file on the second SD card, one big file called, in this case, a-aaa.bitmap. And then what happens is this program, which is actually what you'd have in your game, um, is fairly simple. Basically, you load up the file and then it repeats. This code right here will repeat the video. And it's quite simple. There's two bytes in the beginning that says how fast do you want the frames to play and how many frames are there, and then it just repeats. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you a demonstration of that. So this is the converted uh, images playing off of the second video card. So this is what you'd actually see in the game. And the color depth of the propeller's TV object is not that great, but it's, uh, you know, 4-bit, I'm sorry, 2-bit color, which means, you know, four colors, which is similar to most pinball machines. And you can, it can actually, this is just running in spin, this is not assembly. The uh, converter that I wrote was assembly, but this is just spin. And I can actually even make it go faster. I just take out the delay and it'll go as fast as the SD card possibly can in spin, which is that fast. So yeah, that's in spin actually. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? So hopefully maybe I can do some fun stuff with this in the future. I sure like this propeller. Should have started playing with it years ago. This is just 10 frames a second. This is probably, you know, how you do it. And I just exported this from uh, Adobe Premiere as a bitmap sequence. Not too hard to do.